guys, look at you here. And this is Rice Rice Baby, a series dedicated to all things rice. And oh, we thought the warm weather would come around, but no. Last night, there was a big blizzard here in Canada. So I thought to recreate the best part of warm weather, which is sweating. And besides you, the next thing that makes me sweat is these hot and spacet fire noodles. So today we're gonna make fire noodle rice paper dumplings. Oh, look at you, didn't you already make this before? Yes, but this time we're gonna make them crispy. Okay, little Miss Miku over here doesn't smell like skunk anymore. So to celebrate her skunklessness, she wants you guys to get this video to 140 likes so she can get rewarded with a handful of fresh blueberries, which is her beauty secret to keep her eyes glowing. Now let's get crispy fire noodle rice paper dumplinging. Another day, another session with my life coach, Miku. And what? Fire noodles? What is that for? Miku's life hack number two, bring some fire noodles to school. For when you come across a bully, just shout, these are fire noodles. The bully will think you mean fire as slang, meaning really delicious. They'll steal your lunch, take a bite, wait a bit, before it kicks in and they're crying for their mommy while everyone else is laughing at the bully. That's genius! Now that the bully is gone, let's focus on making more fire noodles. And since we all know I'm a spicy girl, I like the original fire noodles with that iconic fire-breathing chicken. But if you're a mild girl, you can also use any dried variety of instant noodle. Cook them according to the packaged instructions. And from my videos, you may think that I eat a lot of junky foods, but when I do eat less nutritious foods, such as these fire noodle dumps, I'll always balance it with lots of veggies and protein on protein so I can beat up the bad guys, uh, which we will not talk about right now because that is a different story. So don't forget to bulk up on those protein and veggies, kiddos. You remember that sesame and seaweed packet? Yeah, save it for later. Now to elevate these fire noodle dumplings, we'll be adding some cheese. But not just any cheese, okay? Mozzarella cheese. Oh, look at you. Why mozzarella? Is it for the cheese pull? Yes. You can use any type of cheese, okay? Smoked Gouda, some brie, or if you're feeling very fancy, processed cheddar. But of course, we want that cheese pull and mozzarella is the it girl in Look at You's cheese pull assortment line. And is the cheese of choice to get me through the toughest times in life. <laughs> but this isn't just any type of mozzarella, okay? This is sliced mozzarella cheese. Peel and divide a slice into four mini and even cheese slices. Now, if you're wondering where I got these rare mozzarella slices, I always get my cheeses from the cheese artisan store, AKA my local drug mart. That's my secret to getting cheap cheese that's always on sale. Because um, who goes to a drug mart to buy cheese? Me. I do. And now for the main event, rice paper. I'm using the small size six inch in diameter, but you can also use the large size. Dip and dot your rice paper into room temp water for around 10 seconds. Transfer it to a clean and dry surface. And while we wait for the rice paper to soften up, let's grab our cute and mini cheese slice, placing it into the center of the rice paper. Pitapata it down and pretend you're one of those claw machines grabbing a stuffed 
Pikachu, placing the Pikachu noodles into the center on top of the cheese, and bring the top portion of the rice paper down to the center of the noodles. Bring the bottom portion up and over the rice paper, stretch the right side to the left, and finally stretch the left side to the right. And bam! We just made a gorgeous fire noodle rice paper dumpling. Now depending on how good or bad your chopstick skills are, the amount you wrap may vary. So for all my precise stands, it's about a third of a cup of noodles per dumpling. You may notice the noodles are very bouncy and not stable, so you'll need some practice before you get a gorgeous, just like you, dumpling like mine. But don't be discouraged if it's frustrating, okay? Like my parents always say, just try your best. You can also fill your dumplings with some protein like chicken or tofu, you know, so you can beat up the bad guys. Although I've seen this one ingredient being used in these fire noodle dumplings that I find very strange, which is seaweed, which makes no sense to me because noodles and seaweed have no correlation whatsoever compared to rice and seaweed, right? But if that's your cup of miso soup, then you do you, boo. I'll just be partially judging you. But enough seaweed gate, okay? After we've tirelessly wrapped our noodles into a rice paper dumpling, we could just stop right there, eat it as is, or to make it extra crisp, and stay crispy for longer, we could double wrap them. Simply place the dumpling zipper side down and repeat the same process. A double wrap is crispier than a single wrap. Once you're done cooking, the moisture from the filling will eventually seep through the first layer, but a double wrap will let your dumpling stay crispier for longer. Here you can see the difference between the two, although I must admit, single wrapping is more aesthetic since you can see the brains inside. A pack of noodles will get you four small rice paper dumplings, measuring around three by two inches. So now let's grab a non-stick pan and lightly coat it with oil, turn the heat to medium high, and slide these bad boys in. Shallow fry them until they're crispy golden. It should take around 30 seconds per side. Since we're not trying to fully cook anything, we're just waiting for the cheese to melt and the rice paper to get crisp. And take some advice from look at you, the rice paper dumpling expert. Okay, if your dumpling sticks to your pan, then your nonstick pan is not nonstick enough. And even oil won't help. If your rice paper melts or breaks apart in the oil, that's because you overstuffed it or because your rice paper is too soggy. Thank you for your time. That'll be 80 bucks. Once your rolls are crisp, plop them on a wire rack to cool. And while they're still hot, grab that sesame and seaweed packet and sprinkle sprinkle it in the center on top of the cheese to make these instant ramen dumplings look gourmet. And while they're cooling, let's whip up Look at You's famous spicy aioli. To a bowl, combine half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm using Kewpie. Since I'm a spicy girl, we gotta add two tablespoons of sriracha cha. And for a nice refreshing zing, Squeeze in the juice of one lemon wedge. And then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. Look at our gorgeously thick and creamy sauce. So creamy, I can use it as eye cream. Uh, which I've never done before because it is delicious and not fun. And there we have it, fire noodle rice paper dumplings. Crispy style. And before these bad boys get soggy, let's dig in. Alright, so this is the finished product, and I'm super excited. Alright, cheers. First bites for you. Mm, nom nom nom. Look at that, gorgeous, just like you. Mmm! When you first take a bite, you get hit with that crispy crunch. Then you chew a little and you reach the nice and chewy fire noodles. The fire noodle has a nice chili pepper flavor, a nice umaminess from the chicken flavoring. Once you dip it in the spicy aioli, gives a nice creaminess to it. I don't know why, 
but everything wrapped in rice paper just tastes so much better. <laughs> Who would have thought to wrap carbs in carbs? Since we only pan fried the top and bottom of the rice paper, the sides give a nice chew. There's just so many textures. There's crispy, chewy, light and airy, pillowy, all in one pocket. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week and I'll see you guys next time. Miku, are you sad? No, you can't have any. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't. No, you can't have it. Last week didn't get to do. Oh, no. <laughs> Miku, that wasn't for you. You cheater. And if you're still here, comment, Miku is a fire noodle to confuse everyone.